Got another issue of Coffee Break Sessions. It's Gord here, your hurting hippie, with the Chinook. What do you know about Chinooks? I know a lot. I know a lot. I, I also just read up on it to find out a bit more because I always like to learn things. One thing I knew very little of was Chinook was the original name of of a Indian nation near along the Pacific Northwest. But it also was originally as a weather item, and that's what I'm talking about, Chinook is a weather item, as a warm and wet wind coming off the ocean onto the Pacific Northwest. So that's what it originally meant to be. It has, however, morphed into truly standing for those prairie places along the Rocky Mountains that get what is now classed as a Chinook. And what a Chinook is, is there's an upper trough of cold air, but under, under the the top part of the Rocky Mountains to the base of the Rocky Mountains, there is a, a barometric pressure change that is dragging all the air down over the mountain and warming it and bringing it to, uh, and sending it easterly towards us who are on the east side of the Rockies. This happens in Denver. This happens anywhere along the Rockies on the east side of the Rockies. And it is a warming wind that tends to uh, dissipate a lot of the snow. They say that, uh, that within an hour sometimes, uh, a foot of snow can go away and over 50% of that back up into the air, not melted onto the ground. So Chinooks are an interesting item. They, they said that in my studies, they said in one case, uh, it was minus 49 degrees and raised to plus 18, all in Celsius. Amazing changes. We have some amazing Chinooks. I have seen it be minus 30 and raised to be plus 10. 40 degree change Celsius, 40 degrees Celsius, that's a big change. Today we're experiencing a unique change because it was, it has been minus 30 for easily a week or two, uh, fluctuating up and down a little bit, but, but uh, you know, around the minus 30 mark. And for the last couple of days, they've been saying the Chinook is coming. And even as of yesterday afternoon, the warmest part was supposed to be midnight at about plus one but that didn't come i woke up this morning it was still minus 16 celsius with a wind chill bringing it up to minus say 22 23. however two hours ago the chinook started two hours ago it was minus 16. it's already minus 12 and it is going to they're estimating plus three or four very often with a Chinook. They can't estimate the top end. We don't know until the day plays out. And the only other aspect of the Chinook that, and the reason I, I mean, after all, my channel is a medical channel, all about fibromyalgia, all about chronic pain, all about how medical cannabis can help with those kinds of things and other natural ways and remedies. We talk about a lot of stuff. Chinooks bring with them their own unique difficulty for some people with chronic pain. Denver, Colorado and Calgary, right here, Alberta, are the two migraine capitals of the world. More migraines per capita in those two cities than any other cities. Why? Because Chinooks happen often. Huge changes in barometric pressure can be felt days prior to the Chinook actually arriving. And changes in weather always affect chronic pain sufferers, especially people with inflammation. 
major changes affect us majorly. I, when I moved to Calgary, I moved to Calgary in the year 2000 after 22 years in the same province, but north in Edmonton, much further away from the Rocky Mountains, six hour drive to the Rockies from there, only an hour from here. Uh, so Edmonton barely ever, ever experiences Chinooks. Even on today's Chinook in Calgary, three hours north, it's still going to be below zero in Edmonton. It's different there. So I moved to Calgary and I found myself inundated with migraines. Sometimes I couldn't even get rid of them. Once one sets, it would stay until the next change in weather and then express itself even stronger. Sometimes I'd go a whole month with a migraine, just carrying through the month. And I spent since 2000 trying to find a solution to migraines, pharmaceutical solutions. The, Went, went through huge amounts of different kinds of pills and everything. I have found that getting off all the pharmaceuticals, getting that out of the brain component and a good structure of CBD and here there's a migraine and yes, uh, here there's a migraine. Here a Chinook is happening. Yes, I have a migraine. It's very dull though, and not very difficult to handle because of the CBD in my system. And when it does get really painful, I take a strong dab of THC and it clears up my brain and it takes away that immediate pain. And for those who don't understand migraines too much, they can be debilitating. They excuse me they affect your thinking they affect your vision they affect your your gi tract they they affect a lot of you and some migraine days i can't leave my i can't leave my room i gotta have blinders on i need to buy one of those things that you put over your eyes because it would really help sometimes nothing helps with the migraine but I went my first 14 years here in Calgary to 2014 with migraines. They hurt. Oh, they hurt. Starting 2015, I started on medical cannabis and started weaning off the rest, weaning off the troubles, the troubled, the pharmaceuticals. And by 2000, by the end of 2015, I was free and clear. So 2016, I probably had less migraines in this last year than I had in my first 15 years combined. Uh, I don't know if that's a good stat or not. I'm just guessing, but I hardly had any last year. I have one now. It's not debilitating. It's not going to take me over. It's just making the day a little difficult. And that's it. That's about migraines. Started all about the, it's an Indian name, a native name, Aboriginal name, whatever word you want to use. I don't want to offend anybody. Uh, for a group of people that live by the Northwest, then it slowly changed into a medic, uh, uh, a weather term, an astro, whatever word term meteorological term and now it stands for the warm wind coming in off the mountains today warming up our place it's now minus 12 even and uh, i can see the birds outside are starting to come out and it's going to be a beautiful beautiful day i hope to maybe even bring you something from maybe a sunset something who knows peace and cheers my friends love and harmony